From a resounding success through romantic comedies to a single film that ended her career, Meg Ryan has faced many challenges throughout her career as an actress. In this video, we will explore 10 little known facts about Meg Ryan that we bet you haven't heard before. But before we're getting into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed, and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Number 10. She chose to use a stage name for her career. Born in Fairfield, Connecticut, Margaret Mary Emily Hira, otherwise known as Meg, chose to use the last name Ryan once she joined the Screen Actors Guild after deciding to pursue film and acting as a career. The name Ryan was an ode to her maternal grandmother's maiden name, as it is speculated that she chose to change it due to the length of the name she was given at birth. Number 9. There are asteroids named in honor of Meg Ryan and her co-star, Tom Hanks. In April 1989, astronomer Eric Elst, from the European Southern Observatory in Chile, discovered an asteroid that he chose to name after Meg Ryan, as he was a huge fan of the actress. As the name was not offensive, political, or commercial, Elst was able to name the asteroid 8353 Meg Ryan. Seven years later, in 1996, an astronomer from the University of Arizona named an asteroid in honor of popular actor and Meg Ryan's former co-star, Tom Hanks. Funnily enough, in 2011, both asteroids made their closest approach to the Earth and to each other in September of that year, sparking headlines that Tom and Meg had been reunited in space. Number 8. She took a step back from her acting career due to burnout. Meg Ryan's step back from her acting career began with her personal life and relationships overshadowing her professional career. After her divorce to Dennis Quaid and her subsequent relationship with Russell Crowe in late 2000 to early 2001, her media representation strayed away from the squeaky clean persona she created throughout her success. In addition to this, Meg often stated that she felt as though she was burnt out and felt that Hollywood was done with her. In 2009, she appeared on the seventh season of the sitcom Curb Your Enthusiasm, and in the early 2010s, she began her shift from acting to directing and producing. Number 7. Meg Ryan has three Golden Globe nominations to her name. The Golden Globe Awards are accolades recognizing excellence in American and international film and television, of which winners are ultimately decided through a lengthy nomination and voting process. Because of her talent and success in the rom-com film industry, Meg Ryan was nominated for the category of Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Comedy or Musical, three separate times for her work on When Harry Met Sally in 1990, Sleepless in Seattle in 1994, and You've Got Mail in 1999. Although she didn't win any of the awards, a nomination for a Golden Globe is considered to be one of the most prestigious nominations for any actor or actress in the film and television industry, and it is one that Meg Ryan earned through her pure comedic talent. Number 6. She had a rocky relationship with her parents. After getting married to Dennis Quaid in 1991, Meg Ryan cut all contact with her parents after an argument over their relationship. Her father, Harry Hira, told People Magazine in 1993 that it took them years of hard work to rekindle his relationship with his daughter, but emphasized that Meg had cut all ties with her mother, Susan Jordan. She had a rocky relationship with her mother prior to meeting Quaid, as she often mentioned that her mother abandoned her family in order to fulfill her own dreams. However, their relationship quickly ended when Meg and Susan got into an argument over Dennis and his drug addiction. Over the past few years, many of Meg's friends have also mentioned that she has accepted that her relationship with her mother is irreconcilable. Number 5. She has a haircut named after her. Infamous American hairstylist Sally Hershberger, who worked with Meg Ryan in 1955, when Meg was on set for the film French Kiss, had to figure out a way to make her hair look as though she was a stranded tourist with no money. The haircut she eventually came up with was a huge success, and Ryan once mentioned that Sally had been asked for Meg's haircut for many years after the film was released. Hirschberger then named the haircut Meg, in honor of Ryan, who once said that it was funny having famous hair. Number 4. Meg began her career in order to save money. While she was studying journalism at New York University, Meg began acting in television commercials in order to earn some extra money on the side. Due to the high cost of living in New York City, she also began to work on the soap opera, As the World Turns, as extra means of cash. However, these small-scale acting gigs worked in Meg's favor, as she experienced great success and left university a semester before she was set to graduate, in order to establish her career in the film and performative arts industry. Number 3. Her son followed in her footsteps. In 1992, Meg Ryan gave birth to her and Dennis Quaid's son, Jack Quaid. Jack was raised in Los Angeles, California, and attended NYU's highly prestigious Tisch School of the Arts before embarking on his career in Hollywood. Meg's son followed in her footsteps as he was chosen to appear as Marvel in the film The Hunger Games in 2012, which was his first on-screen role. Since then, Jack has also experienced success in the film industry and has appeared in various films and television shows, both in front of the camera as well as through voice roles. He has found success in both of these aspects of cinema, and is set to star as the lead voice role in the TV series My Adventures with Superman. 
where he will play the role of Clark Kent in 2023. Number 2. Her relationship with Russell Crowe damaged her reputation. Because of the clean reputation Meg had built for herself throughout her success in romantic comedies, her divorce and subsequent relationship with Russell Crowe was incredibly enticing to the public, especially to tabloids. Meg initially met Crowe on set of the film The Proof of Life, and their relationship became public knowledge when they were pictured leaving a party together. Tabloids began speculating that her relationship with Crowe was the cause of her divorce. However, Meg was quick to shut that down in an interview on The Oprah Winfrey Show where she stated that her marriage to Quaid was unhealthy to begin with. However, for a woman once described as America's sweetheart or the girl next door, her affair with Crow, as well as her divorce, highly damaged her reputation as an actress. Number 1. Meg was shamed for hot scenes she took part in. For her role in the film In the Cut, released in 2003, Meg Ryan participated in a highly steamy scene in which she was naked. Because she had been dubbed America's sweetheart, public reaction to the film, and more specifically the scenes, were highly negative and criticized Ryan. While on an English talk show, the host, Michael Parkinson, even asked her how she could be naked and emphasized that she should have prepared her audience for something different. Ryan once admitted that she was surprised by the negative reaction and she did not expect her fans or the press to shame her for the role in the film. There you have it. 10 little known facts about Meg Ryan that you probably didn't know about before. Have you come across any of these facts before? If so, leave a comment down below letting us know what fact caught your interest the most. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button so we can keep making more content like this. If you don't want to miss another one of our videos, subscribe to our channel and click on the post notifications bell to make sure you get a notification the next time we post. Don't forget to check out the next video in this series.